everybody, it's Jason O'Fell, and I'm your gay geeker, and I will be bringing you my personal review for Disney's The Jungle Book, which I saw this weekend. I have not had this kind of a visual experience inside a movie theater since 2009, which is when Avatar came out. The detail and the world building to these visual effects that's going on is amazing. Once you realize that essentially this film was done in a downtown soundstage with nothing except maybe some dirt on the ground and blue screen boxes, your jaw will hit the floor. This film's a little intense if you, you know, have kids. I don't have kids, and I don't know if I'd bring my kids to it, but I don't have them. I have toys. This is kind of awesome. But I, myself, was a little unnerved during certain sequences. First of all, don't like snakes. Second of all, I had to take off my 3D glasses because that snake is so photorealistic, I was like, no ma'am, no Pam, no green eggs and ham. Uh-uh, not happening. Neil Seti plays Mowgli, and he's like a true find. He's like all long features and gangly limbs. He looks like he walked right out of the cartoon. Ben Kingsley, of course, plays Bagheera. It's Gandhi in the body of a panther, which works because Bagheera is that big older brother who's silently judging you, except in this case, he's openly judging you and telling you you shouldn't be doing any of the things that you're doing. Bill Murray is great as Baloo. I'm going to say it right now. He was born to vocally record this live action part. He is that character. There is a joke in this film about a bird and it is so spot on not only with the visual delivery but with the vocal delivery. Good job Bill. Then of course have Christopher Walken who plays King Louie. I will say because Christopher Walken has such a huge library of film and you and I as nerds know him as Max Shrek from Batman and returns his voice was slightly distracting for me but that's only because i know it so well idris elba plays Sher khan and let me tell you he is terrifying but he does an incredible vocal performance in the sense that i didn't realize he was idris elba ever there is true menace coming out of his voice and he makes Sher khan a force to be reckoned with and then we have scarlett johansson who plays Ka the snake and once again she's using those vocal talents which she last used in her to perfection she's silky she's smooth she's butter that you want to put all over your body the songs are back in the film the richard sherman originals bare necessities and i want to be like you and i will sit there on the record and say bare necessities works perfectly in the context of the film in the world that they've built I don't think I Want to Be Like You, which is sung by King Louie, particularly works because I feel like it comes out of nowhere. But hey, it's nice to have both of those songs in this film. Disney, as you all know, has been mining their library. Or destroying it and gutting it, but that just depends on who you talk to. I promise you, they're not Michael Bay, and this is not Transformers. No ma'am, no Pam, no green eggs and ham, uh-uh. We've had Alice in Wonderland, which I personally think is a gigantic piece of trash. <laughs> We then, of course, had Maleficent, where, you know, she had feelings, and therefore it was remade into a film. And then we have this Summer's Through the Looking Glass, which once again looks like trash. <laughs> but after Cinderella, which I thought was a really earnest, beautiful telling of their animated classic, you know, made into live action, and now The Jungle Book, I now feel that both Beauty and the Beast and they are just announced at Cinecon, Peter Pan, are in good hands. I don't know about Cruella de Vil. I don't know if I want to see a, a film about a woman who likes to skin puppies. If their films are going to be treated with the reverence that Kenneth Branagh brought to Cinderella or John Favreau is now brought to The Jungle Book, hey, I'm all down for Bill Condon doing Beauty and the Beast because that's my favorite animated movie. And if he messes that up, I will find him. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give The Jungle Book an 8. It's really scary if you have young children with you, or if you're an adult that collects toys and doesn't like snakes, or super violent animals, then it's really scary. But all in all, I still would give it an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. Well, that's it. I'm Jason O'Phil. I'm your gay geeker. I will see you next time. And don't forget, it doesn't matter if you're straight or gay, we're all born geeks. See you later. I personally think it's trash. We have Through the Looking Glass, which is coming up. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm good. Sorry. Well, now it's, it's in there, goddammit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>